Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to Passion Pause. I'm Father Alex Steinmiller, a uh, passionist priest, missionary, living here in Detroit at St. Paul's Retreat Center, and I'm always grateful to be able to break open the Word of God with you. I'm very conscious of those who no longer are on the path of Catholicism. I'm very aware of members of your family who no longer attend church. And my goal is uh, to break down the Word of God or break open the Word of God that uh, somehow, somehow, the Word makes sense in your dialogue with your family members. Uh, I'm not embarrassed to bring up faith, and hopefully you are not either. Uh, faith is not a weapon. Uh, it's a way of life, and it's at the, it's at the substance of us. Um, this weekend is, is the celebration of the Most Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And whenever I'm with a group of young people, I ask a volunteer to stand up to be the Father, God. And then I ask uh, someone to stand up and be God's Son. And then between them, I have a third volunteer stand up and come and stand in the middle of the two, the Holy Spirit which is the relationship of the Father with the Son through the Holy Spirit. And that, that's a picture that I use when I relate to the, to the personality of the Trinity. Okay, there, there, there's four words that I use to describe this feast. <clears throat> and by the way, the Word of God this week is worth your prayer. It's worth your meditation. It's worth your contemplation. It's, it's very uh, life-giving, but it takes time. Uh, there's four words. First of all, dream. Every person I'm talking to and talking with has a dream. It's embedded in us. It's part of our creation. And, and that dream is a way to enable us to imagine, to hope, to strive, to realize that we're never alone. God doesn't abandon us. Secondly, uh, the second word is desire. Not only do I have a dream within me, but I, I, I've got to have that, that choice, that desire, to want to pursue that dream. Where, where, that dream. Where, where does God take me with my dreams? Where does God take me with my thoughts? Where does God take me? That's the desire. And with any desire, it goes nowhere if there's not discipline, if there's not some orderly ways in which I live consistently, authentically, truthfully. And that's the quality of discipline, that we all have that, that third quality. And finally, <clears throat> there's the, the quality of destiny that is where we're going, where we're going. So uh, this weekend, as you celebrate uh, the, the Feast of the Trinity, be, just be aware of where God has put desire in your heart. And by the way, desire grows. Desire ages. Desire is compatible with wherever you are, with your age, with your physical condition, with your mental condition. God is there. And secondly, that, that, that ability uh, to make a choice not to hold back, Fear, fearlessly make that desire. And then, of course, the discipline. That there's, a, there's something that Paul says to us today, which I find is very encouraging, and that has to do with boasting in hope, which means boasting in optimism, boasting that there's another, another day coming, the boasting in hope. And that, unfor unfortunately, can be, can be stopped when we let our afflictions burden us there's no one listening to me. There's no one seeing me that's not burdened. And burdens or afflictions actually create endurance. The more I'm able to work through something and to deal with something patiently, there's endurance. And endurance is what enables me to be a character that other people can trust, my proven character. And finally, there's hope. Hope does not disappoint. So the Trinity embraces us as another member of that family, and the Trinity inspires us as long as we keep and maintain our dreams, our desire, our discipline, and looking forward to our destiny. Have a great 
Feast of the Holy Trinity. God bless you.